So imagine you want to design a beautiful uh, storefront for your web Shopify store, but without needing to know any any code. So that's why I think PageFly should try this app because it's very easy to use to customize your Shopify pages. And uh, you can just drag and drop elements like te text, images, buttons, and even videos to create really the layout that you that you want, right? So you can also choose from pre-built templates to get started quickly, and you can design your unique page from scratch as well. So what you need to do here, we're gonna go to click on apps here, and then here we're gonna click on we have apps and sales channels settings settings, and then here we can click on Shopify App Store. Now here in the search bar, we can write page fly, page fly, and I'm gonna click on the first result. And then here we have page fly landing page builder. There's a lot of other landing page builders. I'm not saying this is the best. There's others other page uh, builders out there. You can try this one. Let me know in the comment section if you like it. I'm just gonna show you how to do it, right? How to use it. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna share with you my experience uh, testing it. Um, didn't test it fully, so that's why I don't really have a peanut right now. It, it's good, uh, at least um, for what I've tried before, it, it actually works pretty well, but I didn't test it fully. Anyways, I've got sidetracked, but um, here now we have the app, we installed the app, we can see transform your store first list, Anyways, we can choose the, I will just go with regular page, but you can decide, decide what type of page you want. Maybe you want to create a product page, which actually I'll just go with product page and let's start creating. Now here we can add an element or we can start, we can here add an element, add Shopify elements, add third party elements. You can also add, use third party elements, uh, you see, we can manage integration it's anyways now we also have apps here so inside this shopify app we have another apps that we can add to page builder now we can use uh, easy ui optimization we can check here from a device uh, what type of you want maybe you want to see this on laptop how it looks but as you can see we can edit section we can customize this how we want but let's say i don't want to do this like one i don't want to start from a blank page we can you can start as you can see there you have a lot of things you can drag youtube tags wherever you want you can also choose from a template i'm going to choose from a template i'm going to select product here there's a lot of templates available i want something clean which just looks pretty nice you can also here we can select maybe app integration. Maybe you want that's something you want product page and then type product. We selected that we can select the industry art crafts, sorry, art crafts. And then here, this one, uh, this one, I'll select this one. And then here, here we have, we can select this block show page outline here we have this column we can uh, this is the so you can also see which one it is if you hide so that's the one this is the tabs this is the column you can right click delete we can rename we can add elements based on what we want maybe we want tabs as i show you right now here this is a tab we can edit this text very simple. If you have more questions, also let me know in the comment section. Here on this side, if you select um, these tabs, you're going to have settings for tabs on this side, right? We can see all the tabs here because we can click on this, which is very nice, very helpful. Uh, we can add a new element. Okay, that's another one. We can drop here tab content. And then uh, drag here something, uh, maybe a column from here. Maybe I need something uh, like a button. I can drag this here. Now I have this button here. And what I like about this is that you can add maybe to this button, you can add um, a link, right? So you can also customize this, this button, but 
just uh, for now we have here all the settings we can see for this button attributes and just settings for this button right i don't want to make this too complicated but also simple really covering the main stuff and here we also we are in button we can add more maybe a slideshow and then let's see what we can do here now we have a slideshow or well, each slideshow we can click on it and then we can customize even even more but now um after you customize but make sure you when you customize you even select each one each and just decide because i've got a problem with uh, customization when i used to customize a lot so just don't make this because there's because there's a lot of options to customize i had a problem that i've i've I was doing this in a wrong way because I have so many options because we have with page builders because of that we just add a lot of build page build uh, sorry we add too many columns too many customization too many product information too many just too many elements right and because of that we make this too close so my suggestion guys make sure you make sure you you remove make sure you don't make this too clouded right that's something i've learned which i'm still doing sometimes so we have here the description of this product which is great we can click on this and uh, clear this html and here we can select a video all right we can select a video because uh, you can add videos from url because you are on shopify trial plan now if you're not you have more options can click on select video from here all right now we can also duplicate this so that's something probably you don't want now here products uh, details right product details we can select the product here we have a product here and then here we have a lot of uh, settings already added here now, i don't have an image to this product doesn't matter but we can edit this text but we can click on it and then we can see what we have here product variations this is the block we product variance or product quantity which is nice but i do not want right now we can uh, select this and then if you click on delete you'll be able to delete this this i don't need and this again i don't need i can select which is the raw content list item so um, can you remove this one this one this one and this one now the side cell i if i go to this side i can uh, select this and here i can stay um, just no more mouse hover that's for other things but what i would want here i can also decrease the opacity if you want to but add some uh, shadow background image uh, and font font size all right it's sick sometimes uh, sometimes to load this but that's fine and now after you edit this you can uh, which is everything here on this page because probably you know you like a template but it's good to edit template that you choose or you can start from scratch now we can save and publish my this is my first page with the page builder let's say using page fly that's a really really large title like page fly sorry save and now save you can also click on the three this arrow pointing down and just publish right away now can also we see unpublish so save and publish and uh, continue this is the product so sorry click on here and this is the product now publish already published before but i just wanted to show you that you can do it anyways now we have this page here i can go to online store i can go here to customize and then here this we have the products and uh, let's check and i think this is the one yeah this is the one now we don't have image actually is the way we customize it 
now we can also see this but you can hide this or remove it from products from here we have the default one right and this one that we created so yeah i i hope you found this uh, this helpful